Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, April the 5th, 2023. And if you're just tuning into this channel for the first time, I want to say that the channel is kind of all over the place. Kind of like the handheld video that I'm recording right now, it's all over the place. Um, but first and foremost, I wanted to start out saying that I just learned last night that uh, the mother of my friends who I'd grown up with s since childhood has passed away as of this past weekend. And um, that basically is not the, <clears throat> it's not really the, the focus um, or is it a, it's not a, I guess, a message to, to dwell on. It's, it's literally a, uh, it's a fact and it's a fact. And we're all inevitably <clears throat> heading towards the same outcome where at some point in time, we are going to draw our final breath. Yesterday, not to compare the two situations, but yesterday as I was walking on the trails, um, somewhere about two miles into the walk, I, I, literally, I literally thought that I may not make it back to my vehicle because I was in so much pain. Um, but I pushed on knowing that I had to push on because otherwise, who would be telling these crazy stories? And uh, Anyway, the mother of my friends used to hear my stories. I used to be on social media. We used to have great discussions, uh, just like the father of my friends who also has um, already passed away. So I get to this situation where <clears throat> on my channel, if you delve back far enough, you recognize that I've had some difficulties talking with uh, with my own parents at times, and <clears throat> in a lot of ways, I feel like my parents have been sometimes gambling away their time without really much concerted effort on recognizing that our time is so limited that we might want to spend our time uh, in peace with one another. And so for that reason, at least one of my parents has um, gotten into circumstances with, with me where he tells me that he doesn't want to talk with me for that very long, if at all. And, uh, and that essentially is, in a nutshell, how I summarize the feelings that I have as a child who has been abandoned by their parent. Why, why are these parents who are living with grandchildren with such promise, such hope, such love for their children, why are they not able to witness more of those experiences while other people burn down the house, cause destruction around them and continue on uh, almost unaccounted for. And so these are the things I think about as I'm putting in the miles. Um, I had a segment called Spiritual Miles where I talked about some of these things, some of the factors that seem inexplicable. Like for an example, yesterday I was simply walking on a trail and I had some unbelievable, tremendous pain that began first in my left calf and then suddenly my right calf started experiencing the same problem. And all the way, all the while, I was still a couple of miles from, from my, my refuge, from being able to sit down. And I couldn't quite explain what happened because just last week, if you've been watching this channel, you'll see I was easily walking at at least nine miles a day, six miles a day, nine miles a day, running several miles, uh, total intervals. I was doing all kinds of things. The, the only thing that I hadn't done was taken a break to recover. And so 
as of this past weekend, I did exactly that. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I took a break. And then Tuesday, yesterday, I went for a walk, not expecting anything unusual to occur, especially since I had performed at such high levels. And suddenly, I was struggling to make it back to my vehicle, feeling like I may not actually make it back to my vehicle, wondering if anyone would hear the message that I shared outlining these experiences where I'm mostly primarily concerned about talking about wellness and conservation, talking about how I'm trying to rebuild my own wealth and demonstrating the steps that I've gone through and expressing all of the setbacks that I've experienced while simultaneously going through this thing that we call life, where so many other things are happening at the same time. And today I put in a mile in some Adidas Lego shoes, some things that bring me a smile. And by three quarters of a mile in, I was having some trouble, again, even just walking. And so I had to force myself to walk the entire first mile in these shoes so that I could record my thoughts about the shoes, which if you stay tuned, you'll see some pictures of the shoes and hear a little bit more about them. And all I could think was of how insignificant the words on this channel are to express hardly anything when it comes to the experience of life that I've had so far. Without my own parents, I would have no life to express anything. And so I am eternally grateful for my parents, for everything that they've done to get me to the point where I am, and for allowing me the opportunity to forge myself to persevere through the adversities that I would experience. I feel that I've been extremely comfortable with and without any tokens of joy, without any persons to discuss these things with as closely as I would like to. I feel that I've been expressive in my thoughts, sharing poems, pictures, songs, stories. And all the while, I feel like I've done nothing but an injustice that my own parents might feel that I've dishonored them. And all the while, all I can think is, I want to call my friends, I want to talk with them. And in this era, when people can barely accept the conversations that come from talking on a phone real time live with somebody. I hold back. And I hold back not because of the pain that I'm in, but because of the pain that I apparently cause other people. There are people that ask who I how I am, and I tell them how I'm doing. Tell them about the concerns that I have. And then they just tell me about their doings, about how they're gambling away things that maybe weren't rightfully theirs to gamble away to begin with. They can't even tell me the honest truth about how a house burned down. Did the neighbors help? Were they ever your neighbors at all? Or were their associates related to the people later took over that property and robbed it from you, from your lineage. I know I'm speaking in generalities and perhaps you recognize that only the true recipient of this message would ever understand fully what I was talking about. But maybe you also recognize that you yourself are dealing with some kind of adversity and you yourself want to put in those first miles and you just don't know how. And you yourself can learn from other people's setbacks, from other people's adversities, from the comfort of your own 
dwelling. Right where you're sitting right now, you're listening to this message. Whether you're paying attention to it is a whole different circumstance. If you're paying attention, then you probably won't enter any kind of errant comments that have nothing to do with the topic at hand. And if you're truly paying attention, you'll understand that when I talk about generational curses, reestablishing wealth and health, fasting and prayer, and the fact that we're in the period of Lent right now, when I talk about how important our family is and how those gatherings used to occur regularly and how the passing of the grandparents hasn't resulted in a passing of any torch, rather it seems to have resulted in the passing of the passing of compassion. When I talk about those things on this channel, I hope that you recognize this isn't just a channel talking about shoes, guitars, songs. It's not even just talking about wildlife or wellness or conservation. But it is telling us that we are the stewards of those things that are around us, those people that are around us. And if we can't take care of ourselves because we haven't been taught to, or because obstacles are put up that keep us from taking care of ourselves, we may never be able to take care of one another, let alone the wildlife that's around us. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this show. I hope you stay tuned for a few moments more to see the pictures that I wanted to show of these shoes that I wore. As painful as it was to go the last, well, quarter mile, I still made it. I still made it to my one mile mark, which is far short of what I've been, been able to do in the past. I still made it to be able to talk about these things, to express my condolences for some people who I believe have passed far too soon, expressed consideration for some people who I believe are rolling the dice over and over, And I've expressed myself typically in the past using a basic color palette of black and white and also on occasion with as much color as I'm presented the opportunity to do so. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope that you can understand that because I have consumed so much pain in the past, perhaps that's the only way I can communicate effectively. And if you yourself are in pain, you recognize pain, and that may cause you discomfort. But remember, you can also talk to whoever it is you need to talk with. Generally, that would be a higher power. You can talk to the trees outside. You can even try to talk to yourself in your car. But remember, distractions are a real thing, and staying focused on the task at hand, especially in the presence of discomfort and peril is imperative in order for us to successfully work through the adversities that we've been presented with. Until next time, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned so that you can see the pictures of these amazing shoes. And uh, overall, just have an amazing day. Rejoice in the life that you have. Share joy with one another. And, uh, and pray for the people who are here and who are no longer here. Meditate, think about it, whatever you want to call it in terms of words. Just uh, don't get too offended if you hear something that causes you discomfort. Look to yourself to see why that discomfort happened and see if you can overcome that adversity. And for every day that you feel great, Get out there and do what you can. These shells that we are in don't last forever. So thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff. Thanks again for staying tuned. There are a number of amazing details on this shoe, such as the 
nubby interior footbed that massages your feet. The little Lego details that are throughout the shoe are pretty impressive. The UltraBoost DNA X system is just as cushy as you would expect. And everywhere you look, including at the Adidas three stripe logo, you'll find more and more tributes to the amazing blocks known as Legos. For me, these comfortable and creatively colorful shoes remind me of days of yesteryear when simple joy was the driving force of our daily endeavors.